Hello, welcome to my YouTube channel, which provides geography videos to students and teachers across the UK, which all have a focus on geographical content and exam skill. And they all focus on Key Stage 3, GCSE and A-Level. In this video, I will explain how the physical appearance of our coastline changes due to the process of erosion. The coastal landforms I will focus on are number one, headlands and bays, number two, wave cut platforms, number three, caves, arches, stacks and stumps. Along a stretch of coastline, there are different bands of rock. Some rock, such as limestone or sandstone, is more resistant to erosion. Other types of rock, such as clay or chalk, are less resistant to erosion. As the waves consistently crash into the cliffs, it is the soft rock which, at a faster rate, is eroded backwards. As the soft rock erodes backwards, it forms a geographical feature known as a bay. As coastal bays can be quite sheltered, there can be a high rate of deposition, which over time can lead to a sandy beach. The hard rock, which takes much longer to be eroded, is left sticking out into the sea. This feature is known as a coastal headland. As a result of waves smashing against the cliff, there is a high rate of erosion in line with the high tide line. Over time, this forms a feature called a wave cut notch. Over the course of hundreds of years, sometimes thousands, the notch will become deeper, which undercuts the cliff. Due to a lack of support, the cliff will eventually collapse. This process continues of wave cut notch formation and cliff collapse. This eventually leads to the cliff retreating, which leaves behind a rocky surface known as a wave cut platform.
harder rock headlands which are left sticking out towards the sea, over time will still become eroded. Weaknesses in the rock, known as faults, become eroded by the power of the sea. This turns small cracks into much larger ones. As time passes and the process of erosion continues, these cracks will eventually turn into caves. One of two things can now happen. A cave can erode all the way through a hard rock headland, or two caves can be eroded on different sides of the headland and eventually those two caves will meet. Once this happens, we get a natural arch. Over a long period of time, due to a lack of support and consistent weathering from the wind and the rain and erosion from the waves, the natural arch will collapse into the sea. This creates a pillar of rock known as a stack. Once again, due to the process of weathering and erosion, the pillar of rock, the stack, gets worn down into a new feature called a stump. Thank you for watching my video on coastal erosion landforms. I hope it does support you in your geography lessons. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel for many more geography videos just like this one which will support you and guide you through your geography GCSE or A-level.